Hi everyone, and it's the last of our videos that I'm going to be sending out um, as it's the end of term next week. We're going to do something slightly differently. Um, so welcome to the end of week 13 of our school lockdown. Um, and I thought for this final one, I'd do this from my office. Um, just because uh, let you know that this is where I've spent a huge amount of my time um, writing emails, responding to a variety of different things over the last few weeks. Um, not a great strength of mine and not something I particularly enjoy. I'd much rather be out there going around lessons, as you know, and seeing all of you. Um, but I just thought I'd like to reflect on a couple of things at the end of this time. And I'm going to do that because I'm by reading out um, a little passage that was written as part of somebody's passion project. Um, they wrote a poem as well. I'm just going to read you a, pa a passage about um, being in lockdown. And this is from Lily in 8FR, and it's absolutely beautiful. And I think it really touches on what many of us are feeling about this period of time, um, about those moments that um, we've had while we've been in lockdown that are really, really different from our normal life. So here goes. It's called, I had lost the ability to just be. Before lockdown, the weeks were mine to fill and fill them I did. Walk to the bus stop, catch the bus, go to school, come back by bus, walk back home, do my homework, go to clubs, do my activities, see my friends, dinners, birthdays, family get togethers, trips into town, holidays. Then almost overnight, life changed as we entered lockdown and phrases such as social distancing and self-isolating became part of my vocabulary. I began dreaming about hand sanitizer and face masks. My routine crumbled, but I welcomed a break in what had become a bustling normality. Forever multitasking and socialising, my brain, like my timetable, was constantly occupied and I had lost the ability to just be. In simplifying my life, I found myself daydreaming as I noticed birds for the first time. Were they more than before? Bird song was music to my ears as I became increasingly aware of their melody. Were they louder or had the world just become quieter? Entertainment for my cat, a moment of peace for me to reflect. I would happily watch our bird box as the blue tits were toing and froing, forgetting about my schoolwork as, I, as a smile crept upon my face. Lost in the moment, I felt better about everything. With enforced quiet time has come a new sense of peace, an appreciation for small moments and the wisdom to take a step back. This is what I will hold on to as we come out of lockdown. Absolutely beautiful, Lily. Well done. Really, really loved reading that. And I hope you enjoyed that as well. So as we come to the end of our school lockdown, um, I hope you'll spend some time reflecting. And there's two things that I want you to do next week for me. Um, and they're really just to give some thanks. So I'd like you next week at some point during your week on Teams or via email, is just to ping your teachers a message of thanks and of gratitude for all the support they've given you over the last 13 or 14 weeks. Just let them know that even though that they were putting you under pressure to get all your work done and to meet deadlines um, and following up when you didn't get your work done, how much you appreciated it. Because it is because of their support that you are going to be in a really good position when you return in September. And it is because of their care um, and their love for what they do and their love for everything that you do that you will flourish as we come out of lockdown and go into next term. So that's the first people um, that I'd like you to thank. The next set of people I'd like you to thank, um, and you can do this next week or you can do it over the summer holidays, is thank your folks at home, your parents or whoever looks after you. They have been phenomenal. They are not used to what they have been doing over the last 14 weeks. They've been teachers, they've been parents, they've been heads of year, they've even been the head teacher, I can imagine, on some occasions. Um, and they have been doing something that they never planned that they would be doing, which is looking after you as a parent, but also trying to support you with your, your school working at home. And that is a really challenging thing to do. So I'd like you to take a moment to write a note to your parents, Say thank you to them, do something special for them like cook them a nice meal or pay for them to maybe go out at some point over the summer. 
just as a little acknowledgement of the support that they've given. There may have been times when you found it just as much of a challenge as they have, and I'm sure those are occasions that we've, that we've had all together over the last few months. But please, please take a few moments to do that. So two things I want you to do, some thanks. Um, give, give that back over the next week or so. So we look forward to one more week of hard work of school. We hopefully gather this time next week um, for a whole school assembly and I'll send you the Zoom link, um, sorry, the, the, the link for that, the Teams link to join that assembly um, and we'll celebrate that together where we'll have a few prizes and a bit of a reflection and then you can start your summer holidays. So enjoy your weekend, um, enjoy spending time with your family and look forward to the summer holidays, but we have got one more week of school to go. So no winding down, we keep going right to the end. Have a great weekend, um, lots of love, and God bless. Okay, take care, bye.